Hey there! Today I was asked to do the sock paneer for you. A couple of people asked me when they saw a nice picture that I put up on Facebook. And uh, I'm going to start with the thing that takes the longest time, uh, which is brown rice. Um, so I usually use one cup of uh, brown rice um, and if we don't eat that much, uh, we always use it because we, we use it on another day with other food. So I think depending on how much you eat, it will be maybe for, um, could be enough for two or four uh, people. Okay, so this is my brown rice and here we go, one cup. Now, um, brown rice needs uh, more water than white rice and also because you cook it longer, um, maybe that's another reason why one needs more liquid. So usually when I have grains, it says that you double the amount. Let's say if I have one cup of um, uh, brown rice, then I need two cups of water. So with uh, brown rice, I take three cups of water. There we go. And uh, if I want to give the rice some color, um, I have some saffron, which is not necessarily um, an Indian thing, but um, the Indians might use um, some um, cu uh, some curry powder or some um, other powders to uh, color their rice. But I like to use the saffron here. So I'm going to start cooking and once I have the water boil, then I add the saffron to it. And off we go. This. And um, then I can start preparing some of the other food. Um, what we need, I have here a paneer, which is um, an, a cheese that comes from North India. And I I bought that, you know, we're from New York, so I can could get this at um, the Whole Food store. But if you have an East Indian stores near you, they probably have that too. It's a cheese. So it's, um, you can probably substitute it with something that has a firm texture and that you can cook with uh, little squares with as well. And we will need garlic and onions. And I use mustard seeds. I don't have much left of those, as you can see. Cumin powder and curry powder. Pepper and salt. And then um, instead of coconut milk, I use a coconut cream because it gives me a little bit more of the texture that I like. Um, it's not as, it's a little less liquid uh, than the coconut milk. Now I have to tell you that uh, sark paneer comes from North India. Oh yes, and we need of course spinach here. I have a big pot of spinach. Um, North India is influenced by m the Mughals and so the food is very different than the food in southern India um, and of course the climate is different and um, coconut milk is usually not something that people eat in the north but I like it and so I'm going to use it. I lived, um, I traveled for a year through India when I was at the gentle age of 19. God knows what I was thinking. Um, 
So, but I know how people cook in the in the various different regions. Um, in the north, because uh, of the Himalayan mountains, um, a lot of places are on very high altitude, and they cook with uh, a lot of salt. Uh, the food in Kashmir, where you would find a dish like sag paneer, is very salty. Uh, of course, if they cook it for tourists, they know that the tourists can eat that way. But if you eat with the locals, uh, you have to be prepared that um, this is going to be maybe not uh, possible for you to... I mean, personally, I can eat a lot of different things. I could have, I did get used to the spices in the South, but I have to honestly say the saltiness of the North, that was something I could not get used to. So we have to kind of uh, Westernize this dish a little bit. And um, so it's not 100% authentic what I'm doing today, but it's very tasty. So, um, I am going to wait for this rice to cook and in the meantime I'm going to start preparing some of my other food. Hold on, let me see if you can see this here. I am going to start cutting the paneer in little cubes. Sometimes one should do that before we start recording, but why why not see me struggle a little bit with this? Okay, here we go. And then I actually take my bigger knife because I can control it better. I make little cubes. So this just breaks into four, where this is done, and then I cut maybe another four lengthwise. And I'm going to start cutting my onions and prepare those. very simple. I peel them, the outside buff, peel some of my garlic. Me in our house we like garlic so I'll probably take about they will go with the spinach and of course you even though some of the spinach says it's washed three times or whatever I usually give my spinach uh, a wash just to be sure that um, everything is a-okay <clears throat> garlic. I also just cut in slices like so. All right, let me see. Oh. Uh-huh, the rice is cooking. And now I'm going to add the um, saffron to it. I turn the temperature down to low and then I'll cook that for 50 minutes. So I'm going to start on preparing uh, the spinach and the spinach actually takes uh, not a lot of time and in general I recommend you buying a big thing of 
but we have this huge thing of spinach that I bought because it shrinks once um, it cooks very much down to very little, very quickly. But I, the um, oil that I like to use when I cook Indian food is um, coconut oil. And um, of course, in North India, they don't eat coconut oil because there are not that many coconut trees in the north. You'd be surprised, but it's actually cold there. We're in the Himalayan mountains in some of those areas, and there's no palm trees. Um, they use ghee if they um, cook in Kashmir. And they don't have spinach, but they have something spinach-like. Uh, that they would use for this kind of a dish, but we don't really eat ghee at home here in our house and um, I prefer the, the coconut oil to any... Uh, we either eat coconut oil or olive oil and that's about it. So and it has a wonderful flavor, so I always like that. So I'm gonna heat up pan and coconut oil is one of the few oils that I actually can taste and I think it's really very tasty. So, when you cook garlic, my husband is Italian, Joe, he always tells me not to make the pan very hot. So, before I start uh, putting in the garlic, I will start with the spices and I start with adding the mustard seeds in here. See? Still need to look a little bit after the rice. And then I'm going to add cumin, which is one of those spices that I personally really like. They eat cumin in North Africa, like Moroccan food has lots of cumin and cilantro. And um, in India, it's, it's very tasty and it's very healthy. So we use cumin in here. It doesn't come out very easily, so it doesn't, I'm not gonna pour in a lot. Some curry powder, which is usually a curry, is a mixture of all kinds of different spices. So, let me show you what this looks like. And I'll take my cooking spoon. And stir this up. Let's see, get this right. And I'm going to add the garlic to it. Put it down for a second. It's absorbed by the spices very Garlic should not become very brown. Just a little. You can smell it when um, you can smell the garlic when it starts to cook. And that is how I know when my garlic is doing well. Golden brown is usually the thing, but in this particular case, and I have already the spices in. You cannot see as well if the garlic is uh, golden brown. Now it starts smelling. It's already smelling really, really good. 
I wish you could be here. There's one thing about food is that um, the aroma and the flavor is just so wonderful. It's one of life's beauties and mysteries. Now I'm going to add the onions to it. And the onions give this also a little bit of moisture. And I'm going to Turn, put on the lid for a moment and let this cook for a second so the, the onions have simmered down now and now I'm going to add the spinach to it. This is like full, completely full it looks like but uh, it's going to shrink instantly. So now we're gonna start on the cheese, the paneer. And I'm going to start heating up the paneer, the pan. Also on relatively low temperature, whatever side doesn't matter it's it's pretty even and equal so it doesn't matter which side you put them on eventually we'll turn it all around it's already starting to sizzle okay here you see it well and i'm going to put that on the lowest low and let it sit for about eight minutes and then I'm going to see how brown it is or how golden. And if it has, for my taste, the right texture, then I'm going to turn it and flip it over. So now you see that the, how much this spinach has shrunken down. Amazing, right? And oops, hold on. Now I'm going to add a little bit salt and pepper and also the coconut milk. So, pepper. And salt. When you use spices in a dish like these Indian spices, you really don't need that much salt to make this tasty. And then I'm going to put the cream and I want to show you uh, to see the coconut cream the f the top is where the fat goes just like with butter um, when you have milk real raw milk the fat starts swimming on top so you have to be careful when you do this I usually go in with a knife and I go around so that the creamy top can just plop in. And I might use a spoon. Hold on, I'm gonna turn this a little bit so that you can see. I have this upside down. And now I'm gonna use a spoon. And oops, there it is. Scoop it up. And of course, this is going to melt this fat into a beautiful, creamy sauce. Love it. Well, I'm going to let that sit for a second. And in the meantime, I'm going to see how my paneer is doing. See if it needs a little more time. Hold on, I have the spinach on this one. 
Oh yeah, we need definitely more time with this. So now it looks like to me that they have a nice golden brown, some a little bit more than golden brown shape. And once I have those done, I'm just going to add them to the sock paneer. Of course, the sock is the cheese. Sock means cheese, that, that kind of cheese. Now add it in. Let me show you how it looks. Hold on. And we have those cubes added to the dish. So here we go. Very nice looking. And now we're just going to wait for the rice. And actually when the rice is almost done, I usually put the rice also in the sac paneer dish and let it just sit there for a minute and absorb um, the spices. And then we're ready to eat. So, so the rice is now done, 50 minutes have passed. Actually I have 30 seconds more time, but I looked and this looks good. And it might need a few more minutes to just absorb the liquid all together, but I'm going to add it to my sock paneer so that it can absorb some of the flavors of this dish. And I'll give that another five more minutes and then we can put it in plates and eat it. Oh, beautiful. I'm gonna let it sit for a couple of minutes so I'm ready to plate the food. Just going to show you. And it's a good idea once you add a lot of rice to a dish to taste it one more time and see if it might need more spices. Most of the time it might need a little bit more salt. I just added a little more salt to this dish. It just looks pretty because it has such beautiful colors. So here we go. A couple of dark colors on top. Here it is. Sag Pamir. Make sure you see it. How it looks. And I'm gonna just taste a little bit to make sure that I definitely like it. Okay, here we go. Mmm. Absolutely delicious. Okay. Bon appetit. Guten appetit. Tschüss.